What is up guys, Sumi here with Thoughtcast, and today I'm gonna teach you how to get rejected. And what I mean by this is how to get rejected properly because we don't ever want rejection. Rejection is something that we run away from. You know, biologically, we are wired to avoid rejection and to seek pleasure. And what I mean by that is really we're wired to avoid pain and pain comes from the rejection. Pain comes from the inability to get a certain situation that we want, whether it's being with a girl, whether it's having a certain job, whether it's having a certain lifestyle. And that is society or the individual or that organization rejecting you from having those things. So really the pain in life comes from a form of rejection. So we're wired to avoid rejection. That's why if you look at businesses like commission sales, there's not a lot of people that are jumping for joy to jump into commission sales, you know? But the people in commission sales on average make a lot more money and people in sales backgrounds live a higher quality of life. Why is that that people are living a higher quality of life in an industry that's so unattractive? Well, it's because intrinsically they're able to make more money in the field because the services are harder to market and you get a lot more no's than yeses. So the people that are willing to go through that pain are, you know, set up for rejection. They're compensated more for their work because they're dealing with that rejection. That being said, how do we handle rejection? How do we handle when something doesn't go for us? Whether it's a breakup, whether it's that girl that you like in school and you had a crush on her and she said that she's not gonna be with you, maybe she told you that you were ugly. See, there's a lot of situations where rejection can just break us. And that's the number one thing that you cannot allow to happen because what you must understand fundamentally is there are three major things that occur with rejection. Number one, first and foremost, is rejection is not a no. Rejection is redirection, right? Rejection is allowing you to understand that this situation was not meant for you. There is another situation out there that is most likely going to be meant for you. And a lot of times in life when we get rejected by a girl or a guy or a certain situation, we fixate on that. We obsess with that because when we're rejected, immediately what we feel and what we rationalize is that we're inferior. We're not good enough for this. We're not good enough for this person. We're not good enough for this girl. We're not good enough for this situation. And so that causes us to chase that and to appease that situation or source. And that's a very negative thing to do because realistically what you must do is walk away. There's a lot of power in walking away and then picking something else. See, rejection is not that it's going to be over. It just may not be time for you to approach this. It may just be the wrong situation. It might, e it might even be a bad day. Sometimes when I go to my partners and I tell them something, I tell them an idea in our business, they're like, no, absolutely not. And it's just that they're in a bad mood. But if I ask them that the next day, they say, yeah, you know, let's try this out. You know, rejection is not the end of things. It's just redirection. And that's the number one thing. A lot of guys, especially a lot of guys, they fail when they talk to women because they get rejected and they say, I didn't want you anyway. I didn't even care for you. Instead, if you're calm about it and say, yeah, no problem, totally understand, you know, have a nice day. That honestly opens up a lot of potential because then it puts the pressure on the woman where, wow, I was just a mean person to this individual for absolutely no reason and they took that really well. See, a lot of times I've been rejected by women and they've come around and said, you know, hey, uh, what's going on? They, they take interest in me because I handled that rejection so well. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, guys, it's a numbers game for you, especially. Rejection is a good thing. You need to be talking to a lot of women. Any guy that has gotten a lot of girls will tell you this first and foremost they get told no a lot more times than they get told yes. Every guy out there that thinks that, every guy out there has this idea in their head that you know really attractive men, really high quality guys are getting girls left and right. And, and it's not that they aren't getting girls left and right, but they're going through a lot of no's before that yes, because women will reject guys just for the pleasure of rejecting guys. And I'm gonna tell you this too, women, you need to get comfortable with rejection. A lot of women will settle for a guy because they're afraid to ask a guy that's high value or place themselves in that position where they can get rejected. Because a woman getting rejected is very embarrassing in today's society. It's almost a slap in the face for her beauty, for her value, for everything. And women often rationalize when they get rejected. Oh, he's not this, oh, he's not that, oh, he has this excuse. The reality is rejection is nothing but redirection. This leads me into point number two. There is some truth in being rejected. Sometimes you have to get in better shape. Sometimes you have to get more attractive. Sometimes you have to work a little bit harder to get the job that you want. Sometimes your resume does need to be a little bit more built up. You can't just expect everything to go your way in life and to rationalize it in your head like, you know, I am good enough, I will get the situation for me because this fantasy thinking, this manifestation mindset is only good to a certain degree. It has diminishing returns. Sometimes you have to be honest with yourself and say, look, you know, she likes guys that are just, you know, like this and I'm not doing what I need to do in order to get her attention. Or, you know, he's a guy that 
has a lot of stuff going for him and I'm not bringing value into his life, even remotely to a degree. See, there's a philosophy that women have out there that they're all beautiful, that they're all valuable, and that they're all wonderful people. And I'm not saying that they're not all worth it as human beings, but realistically speaking, men will value women in different ways. Men will value a very attractive woman as higher than a woman that's unattractive. Men will value a woman that has her stuff together a lot higher than a woman that doesn't. The valuation scale is different and there is some truth in preference. And people get upset with this when men place preferences upon women. But in reality, women do this all the time. It's okay to have preference. And sometimes you're not someone's preference. And sometimes that rejection in itself can make you realize that you might need to do a little bit more or if you just don't want to be in that job or in that atmosphere or adhere to those preferences, you can completely walk away from that idea and you can just redirect yourself. So number one, rejection is redirection. And number two, there is some truth in rejection. And last but not least, learn to minimize rejection strategically. What I mean by this is, let's say you're asking a girl out for the first time. It might be better to invite her out to a social setting and say, hey, look, I'm gonna be at this bar at this time with my friends. I'd love for you to join me and bring some friends. Now, some people might say, well, this isn't a first date, but it's allowing you to get to know her in a social setting. And if she rejects you, you're still going to go there. Women, you can also do this as well. Put yourself in a mindset where rejection is not even a thing in your life. Be very assumptive. See, a lot of times men will say, hey, are we still on for tonight? Or are we going to this date? Instead say, hey, look, I'll be over at this time. I'll see you soon. That assumptive behavior is honestly gonna kill the idea of rejection and it's gonna make it awkward for them to reject you. It's gonna strategically make it difficult for them to say, hey, honestly, you know this, and then they're gonna feel bad about rejecting you instead of you giving them the option flat out to allow yourself to be rejected. See, many dating coaches will advocate against asking a girl out. And I'm not saying that this is what you should do, but there is a reason for it. Because in today's society, people like to reject other people. It makes them feel good about themselves. So when you're asking someone out and you're saying, hey, do you want to go out with me? Or would you like to spend some time with me? It opens up the idea of a no. Instead say, hey, look, I really like you. I'd love to get to know you more. Why don't me and you go get some drinks? If they say no, it's a little bit more difficult for them to get away with that than you giving them this open-ended question where, do you like me and do you want to be with me? So in any aspect, whether it's relationships, businesses, friendships, whatever it might be, you can strategically voice things in a way where you're not allowing yourself to be rejected and you're positioning yourself in a psychological manner where you're allowing that person to feel bad if they are rejecting you. This is some really advanced conceptual stuff and I'm not gonna dive too deep in it, but basically to summarize my points here, number one, rejection is nothing but redirection. It's just a sign for you to go to another opportunity, to another individual, or to try something new. Number two, there is some truth in rejection. Rejection is an opportunity for you to understand what you're doing wrong and an opportunity for you to improve, to get access to the situation that you want. And last but not least, there are some things that you can do to avoid rejection. And I know I haven't gone into too much depth here, but learn these strategies on how to place yourself in a position where you're not opening yourself up to immediate rejection, but rather presenting that situation as you can do this with me if you would like, or I'm gonna just do it by myself. You're inviting the person, you're on home turf, and you're not letting them give you that opportunity to reject you. So I hope this was helpful, and it's not that you wanna go through life being rejected, but you need to learn to handle rejection in the proper way.